Hello my tribe! I thought I would make a quick little video just giving everybody a little post of how my trip is going here in Arizona. I'm staying in this beautiful place in Scottsdale now with my daughter and it's close to all these little birds that are chirping and yes there's a wind blower in the back but that's life it's not always perfect. I'm enjoying so much this Arizona, the state of Arizona is just so beautiful. We've been to the Grand Canyon. We went to a hike in Devil's Bridge and seen the Red Rocks in Sedona. The energy here is so peaceful and grounding. And it's just been really awesome to learn also about the Hopi Indians, the Navajo Nation, just the history here that I honestly didn't get this history education in school and it's okay um, and I'm a little bit you know just shocked at the things that are true that our government has done over the hundreds of years to the Indians and I have so much compassion for them and respect and just different emotions coming up for me of how we treat people powerful people and try to take their power away rather than just become friends with them and learn how we can work together. And right now in this time, we are in a time of collaborating, of supporting each other, unifying, because that's really how we're meant to be living. We're not meant to be overpowering and being bullies. That's not how we're naturally designed to be. And I'm all about healing. I'm all about love. I'm all about inclusion. So reach out to me if you're feeling extra emotional right now in these times where there's so much going on in the world. I'm really grateful to be making this time to take the time to visit a new place, to take this spring break with my daughter who's a teenager. And I felt this intuitively that it's really important for us. You know, she's not gonna be with me the rest of my life and once she goes off to college, that's it. So I really see the value of having fun, going on these trips. What else is there in life if we don't have the relationships with our family, with our children? I mean, I love my, my work. I love being a guide and a coach and a catalyst and a inspiration for others, but life truly is so much more magical when we love the people, you know, and we nurture our relationships with the people that are the closest to us in our lives, especially our children. They definitely benefit from parents making the time to be with their kids. And I didn't get this when I was young. When I was a teenager, my mom was working three jobs. My parents were divorced. My father never sent my mom any money. And you know, I've done a lot of healing about that with my dad. He just didn't know any better. He coped with the pain of the loss of his three little kids by moving away and just doing his best to numb out and ignore the pain. And so this is another reason why I'm really grateful to share the Alva Method, which is all about feeling, feeling the uncomfortable sensations. And it's okay if there's background noises in this video, it's all perfect, it's all welcome. And that's what I'm really excited to share when I come back. There's a bunch of awesome workshops. I'm bringing all this energy from Arizona, all this fun that I've had, and I can't wait to share this beautiful event on Thursday, March 31st at Modern Om. It's intro to Tantra Massage, how to give and receive Tantra Massage. And then I'm also offering events at The Standard in Miami Beach, which I love. I have a couples online class, a virtual class on a Saturday night for people that can't come to South Florida. So check out the link below. There's one link and it has all the details to all my events. I have so much love to share. I'm so grateful for my life and I want people to know, even if you've suffered in the past, even if you've had shitty parents, shitty relationships, a shitty relationship with your own self, it doesn't matter what you've had in the past because you have this present moment to create whatever you wish to create. And I decide to create magic every single day of my life. I decide to focus on healing, forgiveness, acceptance, love, compassion, having lots of fun, and having a lot of patience with others. People are doing the best they can. There's a lot of people suffering right now. There's a lot of people that have no resources on how to process their emotions. That's why I have so much passion and fire to give because I've changed my life. I just wanna love. I don't wanna hate. 
I don't really want to judge. I don't want to hurt anyone, especially myself. And living this way is how we're going to create a more peaceful, loving, orgasmic world, one person at a time. And so message me if you want to learn more about the Alva Method, how to activate love and vibrate abundance, how to receive and let go of being guarded and protective all the time. You're not your past. Your past happened to you, but it doesn't mean that it is what you are right now. You get to decide how you want to live your life. You get to decide how you want to create yourself every single day, every single moment. And I can show you how, as I've done in my life. I have an awesome relationship now with my, my family. I love everyone. I don't hold those grudges like I used to. I'm free. I'm free. And I know that that is a gift to be this way especially here in this land right here where we are right now and all the things that have happened in our own country of the United States of America. And I'm gonna finish the video here <laughs> without getting too caught up in that. Sending everybody lots of love from my heart to yours. And I can't wait to see you at one of my upcoming events or online. April 9th is the virtual class that I'm offering Tantra for couples and it's a great class for singles too. Anybody that wants to open up, let go of that guardedness, that protection, being in fear mode. If you want to open up to love, true love based on the science of love, this is what I teach, true love. Because a lot of us don't really understand what love truly means and I'm here to teach you and I'm grateful that I didn't know. I'm grateful that I was codependent, so codependent. I'm so grateful that I had such an ego-based love that I thought was love because it has taught me the contrast. Love is acceptance. Love is accepting the all and loving everything, loving it all. It really is so much more than what we've been led to believe and I'm here to share more. Lots of love to you all, have a beautiful day.